Uh, I heard about that. Um, hey there, folks. As far as you're concerned, my name is Freak with a Pen, and this is the Sunday stream. Going to be doing some Killing Floor with Ozzy and possibly some of the other friends if they decide to drop in. But, uh, yeah. And frankly, I'm convinced that I'm going blind. Check if I got the freaking, 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 freaking notification about a. There it is. Um, but yeah, as I was telling you earlier, um. Mass Effect Legendary Edition is coming. They're making some. Mostly graphical changes. Mm -hmm. uh, only one DLC is missing, but it's not like a DLC you and I would certainly would certainly care about, really. Uh, what? Which one is it? Um, it's an it's a some sort of like station DLC from the first Mass Effect. It was basically mm -hmm. like a like a training ground sort of thing. But... It... See, now all I can think of is the first DLC for a game that's ever been made. The, uh... The, uh... Oh, God, what was it? Um... That fucking... Uh, the fucking horse armor. That cost... Oh, yeah. Me. Yeah! Yeah, it's like it's definitely like that kind of DLC where nobody really knows what to make DLC. In. So it's kind of like whatever. But the reason why they couldn't put it in was because it had a problem with causing bugs. Mm-hmm. And it was corrupting the game. So they're like, either we spend a year trying to get this in, or we basically say fuck it and not include it. And Considering it was like it had no story whatsoever, it was basically like, oh, uh, a training thing. Fuck it. Mm. Um, no multiplayer. What do you mean no multiplayer? I uh, remember the multiplayer from Mass Effect Three. Oh right. Oh well. Hmm. Mm. Well, the logic was that. But it's still surprisingly, it's still active in Mass Effect Three. Oh. Yeah. So they're like, eh, we have no reason to put it in. Yeah, I mean, why bother making it so that people can act, so that we can get some more uh, people on our player base, base, without having to charge them an extra sixty bucks for an old copy of. <sighs> Fucking now, um, apparently a lot, a lot of the graphical stuff is just updating the game to make it like closer to Mass Effect Three, but updated. Mm -hmm. Um, um, there's also adding some stuff like oh, coloring things differently or lens flares and whatnot. I hope the lens flares aren't so bad. That's all I really hope for. Damn it. Like, not for nothing, why don't they- just- just let me put whatever stupid bullshit I want on my character's head. You only get one hat. Yeah, but it's not, I'm not even trying to put more than one hat on. I'm just trying to put, like, a mask and a hat on. Oh, well, masks are best. Masks are hats. Masks are not hats! Just, like... Masks are not hats. The same way that a hot dog is not a sandwich. Yeah, well... In terms of game coding, masks are hats. Hot dogs are not sandwiches. If anything, they are tacos. Um, there is currently one teeny tiny um, 
argument going on surrounding Mass Effect 3. And that would be? And surprisingly, it has nothing to do with the ending. It's, uh, it deals with, um... Now they fucked up the beginning. <laughs> uh. Well, I mean, technically they kind of did. Sort of. Like, apparently, in the old game, the skies were red during the whole uh, Eden Prime event, and now they're, like, uh, a picturesque, more natural, like, looking skies. But uh -huh. that's kind of a minor grievance. Uh, people are more getting, uh, rather angered with uh, Mass Effect, with uh, Bioware, because they're removing, like, certain um, ass shots. Like, remember when you talked to Miranda, and, like, the camera would kind of be on her, uh, be on her ass for a moment? Yeah. Now, it's not because, it's not because titillation, it's because uh, they feel like it's an unnecessary thing to just remove. You know, it's like... It's kind of like that, the, it's that weird, like, um, it's because, remember, like, back then, um, Mass Effect got in trouble, got in trouble with, like, you know, Fox News, remember? Mm -hmm. How they were like, it's a sex simulator! And it's just like, bro, if that's and what like, your sex looks like, then obviously you have a reason that you're always fucking angry. Yeah, and it's like, like, people, people liked Bioware because they were like, yeah, you know, it's like, like, there's nothing shameful about it, it's alright, it's okay, but it's there's nothing to be ashamed about. It's tasteful nudity. Yeah. And but now so they're tasteful removing you it. Gotta, and so tasteful you gotta put up your pinky when you say it. Tasteful nudity. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but now they're, uh, oh my god, why did I remove my shovel? Uh, that was a waste of money. Um, but now they're removing, we're in space. Yes, we are. Okay, then. But now they're removing it, and uh, people are like, hey, this goes differently than what the guys were before. And it's not out of this... I mean, it's a... It's a good reason why to question that, because basically anyone who used to be part of the Mass Effect team is gone. Like, they've left the... Um, they've left the company in a long time ago. And now they're kind of worried that this new team in charge of Mass Effect are changing things for no reason. Mm hmm Uh, it sort of reminds me when they were doing the whole remaster of, uh, Yakuza's, uh, 3, 4, and 5. And they took out all those side missions from 5 where you were getting chased around by a, um by a transvestite. Ah, uh, yeah. I think you told me about that. Yeah. And yet, they... they keep, uh... And yet, they kept all those, uh, missions... Like, they kept the mission where you go on a date with, um... with someone who... with a woman who was born a man. And it's just like... Look. Hey, baby. Um. Uh. My boo says hey to you. You been? Huh? Oh, oh. Um. Uh, but yeah, they, they had that one mission. They kept that one mission where you went on a date with a man that was born a woman. And all I can think is. Why not just at least keep one of the ones that has the, uh, transvestite chasing you. That way, you're giving a... That way, you know, you're showing transvestites and, and people of the LGBT community in the way that they are. In that they're human and there are... are in that they are human and there are some good ones and there are some bad ones and the majority fall somewhere between those. Yeah. Uh, it just feels like this weird, uh, it just feels like the current day with the, like this weird thing with, um, uh, the current hang-up towards sex. Because, like, because, like, uh, remember, like, when, um, Mortal Kombat 11 came out, mm -hmm. um, and people were like, hey, like, um, the developers were like, hey, we changed the outfits for the female characters to make them less scantily clad because we want to... 
um, we want to be respectful about it. And people were like, okay, so it's it's okay, f- it's it's bad if the women are scantily clad, but it's okay to eviscerate them in the worst possible way in the yeah, entire like, series. Like, y'all remember that some of the fucking fatalities were shit like ripping up in a person's head and using their lower jaw as an ashtray, yeah? Or grinding their entire face against pavement at super speed. Or, or like or using a katana as a fucking Cuisinart. Break time's over. Get back to work. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, or like yeah, yeah, like MK eleven had like like the most brutal fatalities. For better and for worse. I think this is a new map. I don't think I've ever been to this map. No, we've before. been to this map before. I guess because I never really noticed that we're in space. This is the map that we. Oh fuck me! I'm. It's a scrake. I'm not fighting this thing by myself. Get out of my way, you little bastards! I get by a scrake by myself. I mean, I'm sure I might be able to, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and. Whoa, that's a lot of siren or not sirens. The invisible yeah. chicks. This is a siren, and she's killing me. Yeah, but um, going back to it, it's, it's it's really it really hangs up that like violence is extremely okay, but any form of like sexual content, even minor like tasteful sexual content, yeah, is now becoming more and more taboo. Uh, have you ever heard of the thing where uh, Japan sees sexuality the way that we see violence? Um, that sex is okay, it's like all, like you can joke around it, have fun with it and all that. Yeah. That's why stuff like Itchy, uh, exists. Now, from what I know, there is sort of, um, conservativeness with, towards sex no, in Japan I'm... that's more, that's way more conservative than even here. Um, especially no, towards, especially towards um, gay relationships, where basically yeah. it's okay because in Japan it's okay to have gay content so long as they don't really um, they don't really become a couple in the end. Because yeah. in Japan, a lot of people see it as a phase that okay, being gay is not something you, you become. It's it's just a phase that you that you get into. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think basically what it is is that it it's sort of the same way that there are people over here that, like, there's too much violence in, in blank media, and it's just like, yeah, but we're still going to do it anyway. Yeah. Um... I hope that one day... I become a involved, uh, possibly the runner, but you know I don't necessarily have to be, you know, specifically in charge of a of a popular franchise that eventually gets remastered. Uh, but when they are remastering, there's all these concerns about, you know, me over sexualizing the women, just just so I have an excuse to put big old close-ups. A nice bulges in men's pants. Just like you know, I, this is I what you of, want, isn't it? You know, you know, I, you know who you know who my favorite artist is. It's uh, Frank Frazetta, and if you uh, if you don't know who Frank Frazetta is, oh, is that the guy um, that uh, gets that gets accused of tracing? No, 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 not at all. Uh, Frank Frazetta was an eighty, uh, like an artist popular around like the eighties and a little bit more. And basically, uh, he's he did go in. Like he did uh, paintings and art of Conan, uh, along with some other fantasy stuff. But that his, his style was this pure, um, like celebration of the human body, where it's like men and women were muscular, and powerful, and they barely wore any clothing. It's like, oh wow, you could like the only clothing a, a male character would have in. 
in Frazetta would probably be we, loincloth or maybe a we, helmet, and that's it. We had a second viewer for a few seconds, and I feel like the dude just like the dude just wasn't expecting this weird like cultural debate about yeah, sexuality no, no, no. and violence in media. Yeah. Yeah. But um, but you know that that's the thing with Frazetta, and I love his style because it's like he drew he drew men and women the same way. Powerful, almost naked, tasteful, like very tasteful fantasy uh, new scene. And it's epic. And that's the thing I love about his work. And if I would use it as my own excuse for how I draw people, it's just that I'm going to draw both of them, no matter who, like this, because to me it's empowering. That's the kind of style that I find quite um, amazing. Who's that comic book writer, or who's that comic book artist that keeps uh, tracing porn? Um, Greg Land. There it is. Yeah, Greg Land. Like, not only does he trace porn, he traces himself when he's traced porn. Like, what a fucking schmuck. And then he also uh, traces his own art. No, that's what I said. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't quite yeah. catch. Uh, I'm going to keep the fists, and like, that's it. I'm going to focus on upgrading them. Like, he's traced porn, and then he will trace pictures that he's done where he was tracing porn. Like, what an ass. Let us be poor. Hurry up. I've heard that he's actually a good artist. It's just that for um, for just for just to get a, something done in time, he just he traces. Mm. Beep 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 beep. I'm just gonna keep on punching. Punch. I gotta punch, say, punch, punch. you gotta say. I gotta say the um the the uh fucking what's his goddamn uh the commando ability to make the uh invisible cloakers one appear. yeah the cloakers up here is super fucking useful. Oh yeah. Like especially if we get the matriarch. For the patriarch for our boss. Um, just throw down a grenade right there. You shoot true. For me, uh, the way I built my berserker is I'm a tank. Nice. I have a shit ton of health, and I am constantly regenerating it. Fucking flesh pounds. Fuck you and your giant glowing fuck me light. What else is going on in gaming? Ba 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 ram. Um, Capcom did something funny that a lot of fans are loving for the new uh, Resident Evil game. What? Uh, they confirmed the uh, vamp. Uh, they confirmed the vampire lady's um, canonical height. Skip Trader? No. Who the fuck said Skip Trader? Uh, obviously someone's done buying stuff. Yeah, they confirmed uh, their canonical height, including with and without heels, just because I, I guess they figured out why people like uh, the vampire lady, and and now and now the uh, people like fans were like, 
You know what? Thank you. This is exactly what we need. It's just like... We're not... Capcom, did you think not enough people were jerking off to the giant vampire lady yet? Is that what you... They're safe struck gold. And they're profiting off it. Look, I... Believe me. I don't have... I don't hold a single thing against them. If I had... Let's let's be honest. That's how you know you have a fucking winner on your hands. That's how you know you have a winner on your hands when people are drawing porn of it. Essentially, yeah. Uh... Hopefully, uh, like I want to be a writer. Hopefully, someday people will write will uh, draw porn of my characters. That is becoming the, uh, the current day sign of success, really. Exactly! Because, if you think about this, think about this. One, uh, because it gets, like, three levels. One, they have to be passionate enough to like your work to draw fan art of it. Two, they had to have liked an aspect of, an aspect or multiple aspects of a character to become attracted to it. And three, you had to combine all of that, and then they were also completely fine with drawing, explicitly drawing porn of it. And it's like, that proved that you succeeded uh, do you, hilariously. Found it. Do you consider it a good sign when they start doing fetish porn of it? Uh... Mm, I would say... Like, when they take your characters and they do a picture of them, uh, for example, doing butt stuff. Like, exclusively butt stuff. stuff. Um... I think it's nothing you can control. I wouldn't call it... I would. I think it's on the same level of, of just porn in general as a measure of success. But... So, so you're saying it's it's neutral. It, it has a zero point gain to how well your product is doing. Uh, whether they're drawing porn of it or... Like, specific, very specific porn or not. But. Um, I think... Yeah, I think it's pretty neutral. It's uh, not, not really... Uh, Mm -hmm. Not really like uh, a gain or or negative, really. Upgrade my fist. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Like like if I may if I may point out an example. Uh huh. Star versus the forces. Star versus. Uh. Forces of evil. Yeah. Um. Ever since uh the character of Marco. Uh, dressed up as a princess. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have done... By the way, this isn't a... Uh, this is not a stream for kids. If any... No. <laughs> I mean, we're playing, a, we're playing a rated R game, so... Anyways, yeah. I think... I think it can be... Um, a sign of, like, a... Um, it can be a sign of a certain, like, um... Like a measure of success for a certain like moment or scene or particular thing, like uh, like people are already drawing like um, humanized Luna art from uh, Hell of a Boss after mm. the third episode. Mm -hmm. Like that's already becoming extremely popular right now. So it's like, so like it's just it's just a, it's just a, a measure of a trend. Yeah. Hey. What you're saying is basically that they that because of the episode where a character does blank, uh, a new avenue has opened up for yes. the porn. However, the I still dick. don't. I, I, however, I still don't consider it a gain or a negative because yeah. if, if if a porn of a character exists long enough, eventually it'll lead into niche uh, niche fetishes to appear. And that's just the internet. It, it just mm. happens. So that's why I don't consider it a positive thing. Yeah. I love how the cloakers move in on me like, oh, he can't see me. Nah. Well, that's because they have dumb AI. Like, 
for games like this, it's either you have a lot of enemy, you have a lot of enemies with dumb AI, or a few enemies with smart AI. Finish the last ones off, so I can open the trader pod for you. We just did like a, we just did like a 25 minute TED talk on how uh, porn affects uh, the popularity of of media. Well, I mean, there's truth in it. Remember Battleborn? Yeah, and how, very little porn and how, of Battleborn. Yeah, very little porn of Battleborn to the point that the freaking um. The guy, uh, I forget his name right now. Uh, Randy Pitchford? Yeah, Randy Pitchford had to create a, a, create a subreddit for porn. Basically oh. asking people make, to make porn of characters from Battleborn. Randy. Randy, no. All because he was oh. jealous that people were making so much uh, porn for Overwatch. Oh, Randy, no. Yeah. Ugh. Well, Zed's on the way. It's the, it, the, the, this is my most, that's just the most hilarious thing about it. That that actually frickin' happened. Um. <laughs> uh. I wonder if we could get like a TED talk. Uh, if we could actually get on like TED talk, uh, just by talking about how porn can uh, affect the popularity of something. Or, or I think, is... I, think I, I don't think I think um, I don't think it can affect. It can well, contribute it, 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 it's, it, but it's, only it's a good it actually... measuring stick. It's a good measuring stick. It can contribute, but it has to. But the interest has to exist in the first place. Yes. Like you um, can't just create porn or something, and then people will be like, "Oh, I'm interested." No, the porn has to already exist itself. There has to be an interest first for the porn to exist. And I mean, I'll. S I I've had this theory for years, um, and I'll I'll go ahead and say it now. Pokemon. Or the Pokemon Company has to have uh, just a room separate from most of their designers where they come up with a Pokemon that people can jerk off to. Like, it, it, it has to be a thing. Every time that they're designing a new Pokemon, there has to be, like, one or two, maybe even, like, five, up to five designers that are in charge of making, like, three or four Pokemon that they know people are going to make porn of. I think it's... I wouldn't say it's for the purpose, but the, the thing about Nintendo is that they have to... They're very much a, uh, a kid-friendly uh, company. Well, I mean so specific... I, they... I don't mean Nintendo. I mean specifically, like, the company that used to be known as Game Freak but is now known as the Pokemon Company. Oh, right. Um... I wouldn't say because... Okay. I think... It would be, like, something that you don't speak about. Like, it's not a planned thing. It's just something that is an open secret, I would say. I'm just saying, man. Gothella and Gardevoir... Hmm, I can't feel like those are accidents. I think... I don't think it's, like, complete accident. I think it's just... Like, there was probably a... feeling that it would eventually happen. But, at the same time, it's definitely not, like, the mission statement. And the reason why I say that is because just there exists 
I'm a friggin' if you need it. any Pokemon, really. Yeah, but there are ones that are definitely more of. Uh, damn, we can't upgrade anything. Looks like the pistol, but why even bother? The only reason I use a pistol is if I'm, like, desperate. Like, and yeah, like, what if I put on my shotgun that apparently has made it two units, uh, heavier? Oh, uh, speaking of things heavier, I don't know. Uh, don't ask me how I made the connection. Um, uh, I'm, uh, trying to replay Fallout New Vegas. Hmm. And I've been trying to mod it. Not, like, crazy mods, like, you know, like, story mods or, like, mods that, like, drastically affect the game, just mm -hmm. bug fix mods or overhaul the sky mods or anything like that. That in Alternative Start, which is my most favorite mod, uh, ever. I must oh, of course the fat fuck follows me. Oh god, he took a chunk out of my body. Uh -huh. Oh, there he is. Yeah, did he did did he just like disappear for you too? No, I think he fell back because he hit a hard now. Why the fuck am I using my shotgun for God's sakes? There's so much poop everywhere. Two more clips. Oh, so I recently realized why there's always one bullet missing for guns in the hunt. Why? Because historically speaking, many, uh, um, historical speaking, for cartridge-based guns, mm -hmm. you could not, um, you had to leave one empty because it was already in the barrel. I guess, uh, I don't know. I mean, the, I mean, Hunt Showdown is about, is about having the most, um, for better and for worse, the most realistic portrayal of how guns work. I suppose. Like, they're supposed to be, like, really old. Like, be lucky that they're cartridge-based, because I learned about the the original... I don't remember how, this stage. How something like... like hmm? Biolabs. Bio? I think we've done this. Maybe. Um, 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 be, be glad that they're cartridge-based and not, say, um, ball-based. Mm-hmm. Because then you'd have to do the whole gunpowder. It's the whole the ten ball. minutes of reloading your fucking gun. Yes. Like, be lucky it's that. Yeah. They went. They, be, be glad they went with cartridge based. Uh, to our new viewer, uh, I I'll warn you now. Uh, there's a good. There's a incredibly possible chance that we'll just start talking about porn for almost no reason. As and not was even, and not even about. And not even about how porn is good, it's just the cultural significance of it. Although, studies have shown that uh, cultures with that uh, allow ready uh, availability of porn uh, uh, have much less uh, sexual assaults. You're learning something as well. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I could be, hey, I could put education on this stream. No, oh god. You know, there's actually, hilariously, um, there, there's something of a weird basis for that. Um, and I'm gonna use a, a an example of law. Um, oh, they so you know how, like, 
Eh. Okay. Well, who cares? Anyway, so okay. you know how the okay, so you know how like um J- like Japan has like an industry with um uh, with hentai and such, right? Mm-hmm. And how it's partially okay. our fault. Yeah, but let's ignore that part because it's just focusing on Japan. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So basically, um, I'm gonna go with Commando this run. All right. So basically. Uh, countries like England are trying to influence. Why? What's up? Oh, you're not readying up. Um. It might be AFK. Yeah. Okay. So basically, countries like um, England and such are um, trying to influence Japan almost aggressively. Might I? Uh, I might say. Whoa, to get what the fuck? Um, to get rid to like to um to basically lay down the law against uh, hentai. Like any like a lot of like lewd art content, they want them to start releasing. Um, but, but uh, there's a lot of, like, Japanese people are pointing out, um, sexual assaults in countries like England are far worse compared to Japan. Like, Japan has problems, but compared to England, it's definitely not as bad. Um, I'm just pointing this out as a, as a weird... Pot calling the kettle black, where they're saying that Japan is worse because of this content. But oh yeah, we definitely never went to this one. Yeah, it's it's sort of like a um, a business office version of uh, oh what's it called uh, the 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 manor for the doctor. Yeah, I reload. It's cool. Um, yeah. I'm actually thinking of something like um, the um, the hive from the rest of the movie. Mm. I thank you. Oh, the Resident Evil movies started great. Yeah. Then this went not great. And then it, and then it just became an excuse for Paul W. S. Anderson to watch his wife do uh, kung fu in in tight outfits. Basically, you know, it's 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 funny. You, the first two moves were so good, you can almost consider them to be like um, side stories of the game. Yes. Like for the longest time, I thought of the first Resident Evil movie as basically a prequel to uh, Resident Evil the game. Um, I mean, it's partially why. Uh, uh, the, 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 the movie with with the the monsters and the hunting, the Monster Hunter movie, uh, worries me. Like I just I don't get why they didn't just have Milo Jovovich be from that universe. You know what I mean? Like why does she have to be a soldier that was transported to that universe? Um, I want to, I'm going to say it's probably, um, most likely with a lot of these movies, even without Paul W.S. Anderson, um, military influence. Yeah. Because one of the biggest, um, uh, one of the biggest people who pay for, one of the biggest organizations that pay, uh, that fund movies is the U.S. military. Where the fuck is the goddamn... Oh, it's over here. Oh. This side of the train. If I sell 500, I can get the bullpup. You know what? I tried the bullpup. Did I sell the bullpup? Mm-hmm. No, I did not sell the bullpup. Damn it! I just bought the varmint rifle again. Ah, uh, what a waste of money. 
Oh, uh, God. Anyways. Um, yeah. Biggest, uh, the biggest people who do put a lot of money into movies is the U.S. military. Hmm. Despite what many Hollywood actors will have you to believe whenever they complain about the military. Here's the thing. I believe in the U.S. military. I don't so much believe in, you know, some of the reasons why politicians say our military has to go out and, you know, kill people and or die. I but, believe in the I believe in the soldier, not the military. Yeah, I think that's what I was trying to say in a not yeah. smart way. The way you said it was... You know what, I'm just gonna shut my cake hole. No, 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 no. I know what you meant. Well, yeah. That's what a lot of people feel. Like, you, you feel for, like, the people in service, veterans and whatnot. But you hate the bureaucracy behind it. As, uh, my sister can, um, be very much, uh, an example of. As a man in, uh... As a man in, uh, in, uh, George Bush makeup once said in a movie about two stoners, don't trust your government, trust your country. Yeah. That's been my feeling. Come see me. The pod's safely open. Nicely done. Um, but yeah. Uh, a lot of movies, they what they do is they start like really um, going out of their way to like um, to praise U.S. military in some way, either having U.S. military characters as U.S. military being characters for no good reason, having extended scenes showcasing how awesome the military is, having a lot of uh, military jargon, even. And, like, that's fine when it's in a modern context, but fuck me, man, just fucking... It's a fantasy movie for... It's a fantasy story, for Christ's sake. Tommy Gun or Bullpup. You know what? Tommy Gun. What's with this jumbo shrimp with legs? I'm about to shut the pod. Jumbo shrimp? Jumbo shrimp with legs over here. Ammo check, people. Coming, 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 coming. I guess it's supposed to be the, the fetus of the zombie. It really does just look like a jumbo shrimp with legs. Um. Like, she just watched me and reload my gun. Uh, it's been a long time since I did actual shooting in this game. You gotta practice because you've just been punching things all this time. The last one. Get to the indicated pod for resupply. Ah, so this is what's like being mortal. But my fists don't do all the answers. But my fist does all the answers. If I get, if I sell my Kami gun, that's 400 plus 600, that's 1,000. Um, I can either get the AK-12 or the huh. carbine. That's a lot of blood. More damage. Oh my! 
Huh. That's yeah, a that's a that's a big old grindy. Last chance. I have to power down the pod. Looking for the point. Just making zombies just so we can grind them. Something tells me jumping in there would be a very Pod's bad closed. idea. Go make a difference. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <again>! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> I, I, that was. What did I, you do? <laughs> I don't know what I was. I don't. Oh my god! Someone, someone activated a freaking push system behind me. Uh, oh, Jesus. I... I don't know what I was expecting with that. So what we have to happen? try and... The next time we get Chris into this game, we have to try and trick him onto that, yeah? Well... Um... Uh, so now you get to come up with the, <laughs> with the weird porn topic now. Chapa 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 This game is, this stream basically is going to with a big taboo, sex and violence. Yeah, pretty much. I'm alive, but my gun is gone, which means I'm going to spend money to... How's that getting killed thing working out? That, not my fault! Not my fault. What a dick thing to say. Not even a cut purse would give me the time of day! It's like... It's like she might as well have just called you a chode. Oh, that's death. Uh, what's death? There's just pits we can open up. <laughs> oh, oh, I learned my lesson. I, yeah, do yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't get it too close if I was you. Break time's over. Get back to work. More sets inbound. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that in there. One of my favorite ways to describe uh, a game is uh, done is like, here's full auto, and here's fuller auto. I want to see if I can lure like a scrake or something into into one of these pits, but they aren't fucking opening. They're probably on a cooldown. Oh, man. Save me! Save me! Oh! Uh, Dimitri says, yes, the challenge of auto or faster auto. <laughs> nope, no more bullets. I've ran out of gun fuel. Precious, precious death fuel. Look at all these things. 
Speaking of death fuel, uh, have you seen the commercial for that for those uh, cans of water? Water in a can? Yeah. I was making a joke. I hope that's not literally what it's called. Uh, no, it's. I believe it's called. It's called something mouth mountain death liquid, or liquid death. I bet it doesn't even kill you. Like the joke is supposed to be that like. Water is actually, you know, water isn't isn't some girly drink for yoga moms. Kind of funny. Um, but like it's an actual product you can buy. Um, and mm. this the same uh, company has made a line of plush toys that are aquatic animals who have been disfigured by pollution. Uh-huh. Yep. That's their mascot. Oh no, it's 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 these three Ah, oh, damn it. Uh let me see if I can find it on my phone. Ah kill, 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 murder, 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 murder. Disfigured animal plushies. Here are some pictures that match. And this is and this supposed to be an awareness campaign about pollution. Uh, I guess that's what they're trying to do. Because it just makes pollution sound pretty badass. I can get, mm. I can get, just I can get like monster animals. Uh. Yeah. yeah. You know, it reminds me of it reminds me of this um, campaign by like PETA or some sort of vegan group, where in order to curtail people from like um, eating meat, they um, they printed names onto um, they printed names onto the packaging for meat. So basically, like oh, oh these now you know join. the name. If I can get badass animal figures. Uh, oh, so, uh, s go ahead. Yeah, so this was like, oh, we're gonna put names on the packages of meat so you know who you're eating, you monster. And then some Liquid people were commenting death. like, actually, that sounds pretty badass. Now I know who I'm eating. <laughs> uh, and all that makes me think of is that, uh, is one of the many, many, many distasteful, uh, uh, one of the many distasteful cutie paluties. That's what the toys are called. Cutie paluties. They, they also apparently have a some sort of album coming out called Liquid Death's Greatest Hates. Doesn't matter what game I play, eventually I get an LMG. Let's see if I can... Cutie Paludes. Okay. 
apparently what my phone got from me saying cutie polities was shoe dip sh shoe dip uh booties either you need to fix your phone or you need to fix your mouth cutie polities I got QT Pilates, which I guess is closer. We're in production transfer. What's in the cave? Oh, that's what it's a. J I didn't put it together until I uh, started typing it in, but I guess it's a joke on the on the term cutie patootie. Let's see, 16, 1700. Uh, nope, just gonna keep it. It's like an abattoir here. Ammo check. My IA-12 will kick. Hurry up. Zed are getting closer. Vite. All Zed's on the scope. Back to it, mes amis. Watch my ass reloading. Hey, Visa, let's ask this, let's ask this question. What was that? I remember the this post was like, uh, hey, Michael, you know, so let's answer this question. Are you truly just a kid? And then you just hear the voice behind you. Are you really, truly thinking? God damn it, Vsauce. Why did you have to make your, uh, tagline, or your, your tagline, uh, so memeable? I can't remember this, I remember this video, it was like, um, uh, like, uh, like <laughs> it was something like, um, I don't know, like, some, like, innocent topic at first, and then they do a transition, where it's like, oh, that is how, like, that's how you get the, uh, like, a triangle, now then, and then, like, you start shifting the triangle in a certain way, and it's like, let's talk about the hollow okay. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it just reminds me of, uh, of that, this vine I saw one time of, of a guy singing, uh, singing, uh, Santa Claus is coming to town in an incredibly threatening way. He was just singing the, you better not cry line over and over again, getting progressively louder and angrier sounding. Ah, good old painless. You better not cry. 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 Ah, God, they instantly got frozen. Oh, no. It isn't like... It isn't like uh, one of the... Things comes with a grenade that does that. So, uh, would you like to? My favorite, my, fa my favorite version of that is like a repetition of the line: "He sees you when you're sleeping. He sees you when you're sleeping." It just goes on and on. <laughs> uh, so, would you like to hear the names of the cutie paludies? Sure. There is Trashy the Turtle, Wasty the Whale, and Suffers the Seal. Gun. 
Ain't got time to bleed. Out. Reloading. I don't have time to bleed, but clearly these monsters have no appreciation for my schedule. You know what's the most pointless thing about a minigun? What? Putting a laser sight on it. Yeah, have because I'm sure that'll make it more accurate. Have you ever seen that uh, those videos of that guy uh, where he's supposed to be the the uh, the mod shop in uh, Call of Duty or some or Modern Warfare? It's basically this poor bastard who has to keep modding, putting putting on the insane mods that this one player keeps uh, demanding. Like putting, like shortening the barrel on a sniper, putting a magazine drum on it, and then of course, uh. We're almost out of time. Make your choices. Uh, oh no, wait, it's putting a, a magazine drum on a uh, on an assault rifle, and then because it's too heavy, taking the stock off, and then putting a sniper scope on it. Uh, my favorite was part in like this payday video, or I think I showed you. It's like he was like modding these guns, mm -hmm. and he was like, uh, like he took a 50 cal anti-material rifle and then shortened the barrel. And it's like, oh my god, where's the recoil going to go? Uh, your shoulder. <laughs> Into your chest. Don't you mean against my chest? No. Come on, Dr. Hans, I got a minigun. Come on. Yep. Beep, 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 Oh god, we're just tearing through him. <laughs> I think that was me because I threw all my grenades at him. I was chucking all my grenades too. Oh, who got it? Who blew the bastard up? Uh, me. Who did it? Oh, really? Ah, oh, okay. Did I at least get something? I got Enforcer. Yeah, okay. Cheapy, 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 cheapy. No fun. Uh, I'm actually gonna exit real quick. Exit to home menu, because I think uh, Dimitri said he was going to join us. Okay. I got to send him the invites. Oh. Okay, so first party. Uh, add players. Party. Dimitri's in. Hey, D. Hey, Dimitri.
Hey, Katrina. So, we spent the first hour, half hour of the stream talking about porn. Well, it was. It started out as a discussion about the whole thing with uh, Mass Effect and the uh, removal of some, yeah, removal of uh, of like stuff like that. Gone. It's just those scenes are gone. Uh, then it began to talk about whether or not um, fa uh, pornographic fan art is a measure of success for a um, for for something like a, a movie or a game or whatever. Yes. You truly don't know how well your movie is doing until someone draws one of your main characters having anal sex with Captain America. Pretty much, I mean... See, it is kind of true. It's like... The wayside. Never... Hey, D, you're breaking up... Right now, I'm just kind of thinking about, like, oh, ooh, objectives. Deal damage with dragon's breath. Give me a better now? Yep. Yeah. Alright. No, oh, cool. shit. It's I actually went to the mall. Okay. Only measure of its success if you can literally prove that. It's like, yeah, no. I have literal metric fuck tons of porn drawn up my franchise. You don't like it. I'd, I'd, I'd love to see, like, just a room full of, uh, like, showrunners and authors just having an argument about who's, who's, uh, who's franchise is bigger. And one of them just eventually goes, at least 10,000 people have jerked off to the comic of my character having sex. Like, sir, you don't have a Rule 34 page, so your argument is invalid. Chief, you they don't even cons- They haven't even given you a tag. <laughs> like, that's the threat. That would be what it is. <laughs> you haven't even earned a tag, motherfucker. Oh, better get in. <sighs> Better get it. Okay, get it. All right. Oh, we're a nine. Great. Oh. I was able to get my microwave gun though. Sweet. I I started with a shotgun. This is not good. And I I, I have no armor. Well, yeah, I'm sure this will go well. Oh my God, money! Thank you, friend. He knows that we're here. He's like. Oh, these guys are here. They might as well buy shit before they die. Again. Uh, that's all my money. All right. If you guys need anything, you'll get money. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, look, ammo box. Better take it. Okay, now I have twenty-four armor. Maintain the area security. I think I'll. Oh God, it's the final wave. Indeed Wait, it's it a is. final. It's a final wave and a fucking secure the area thing. Yeah. What the shit? Since when could that happen? I guess we joined on someone else's game, so. Yeah, we joined someone else's game. Also, I've been actually. Oh, no, I've recently been listening to the Sandman Audible. Uh, Sandman Audible? Yeah, uh, it's the, uh, it's the DC comic, uh, uh story of the original Sandman. Mind mm. that. And what? It's ah! Oh, God! Ah! 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 
Oh gosh, it's so up to play this game. Oh god, I was doing so much better as a commando. Why did I change? Oh god, oh god. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Yep. I got pushed into a corner by a flesh pound, a siren came over, and then another flesh pound came over. Let's see if I can find any news articles for us to uh, react to. Looks up to me. Okay, down to pistol. Daisy Ridley. Well, he's only got 14 people. He's only got 14 enemies left. Uh, a couple of sirens. A couple of strikers. Down they go. I've seen Oscar pull some shit out of his ass before. Ah, you try, you try. There was a cloaker right behind you, dude. I'm burning up! Several cloakers. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. I love what your character said there. I don't mind if I do. What did he say? He said, load, you bastard, load. I can't even pick up. It's like, it's not even like Mr. Fox, that was just Oscar speaking to Mr. Fox. So apparently, Daisy Ridley has decided not to return to social media. There. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean in, in a whole, social media is a toxic, horrible environment that just brings out the worst of people. Uh, yeah, bum, and bum, 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 bum. she is the newest face of what people are continue to claim is ruining their childhood. Uh, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't probably say it's probably due to fans, mostly because of uh, Kelly Moran, uh, Kelly Moran Tran, and what happened with her. Uh, with her. Okay, people say that the reason why Kelly Moran Tran canceled her, um. Her social media was because of uh, Star Wars fans, and that is actually not true. But, uh, because people point to a um, a journal that she wrote about her experience, and articles were written saying explicitly, "Oh, it's the fans' fault that this happened." But in her journal, she mentioned she met, made never uh, she never made a single mention about fans or anything like that. Instead, what she was talking about was how Disney oh, itself. Nope. Oh. Oh, damn. I. I went to the wrong thing. Uh, she was mentioning how Disney was treating her, how the studios were treating her. That's the problem that she was having. She made. Um, she was talking about studio harassment and how they were treating her as an actress, but not anything about the uh, about the uh, fans, but uh, media. Um, what they did was they shifted it, they shifted the blame from Disney and onto the fans instead. Not to mention, as far as, um, as far as I know from the wider fan uh, reaction, nobody hates the actors. They hate how they were written. People point to uh, Daisy really as a really good actress, just not given a good um, script. It, it, it's pretty much the argument of a lot of things where, like wrestling, when you hate not the wrestler, you hate just everything around. What the fuck is this? What? Hallmark? Hallmark Station? Yeah. Sure, uh, I think we have yeah. been there, I think we've been there before, but... No, I think this might, might have been a new one. Maybe. I don't remember. It's a new one. I swear to God, every time... Every time we, uh... We... Our tripwire just like levels, levels, more levels, more levels. I mean, yeah, because yeah. the pieces came afloat. I mean, they don't really like, have to put too much work into it. It's like, 
every yeah, time like every time we've been on for the past couple streams uh we found new stuff uh sharpshooter is not for me you know, I'll go survive. I want to try survivalist. Survivalist is interesting because it's one of those ones where it's it's random. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I I don't think it's fans because in all the interviews that she has done um recently, I can't recall her ever mentioning a problem with fans. Um, problem with the studio, definitely. Problem with, um, yeah, it's almost always the studio. That's fair, but, but, it's like, but I never hear anything about fans. And that's because, um, go ahead. Yeah, and that's because, like I said, when it comes to, like, uh, a lot of the, the majority of fan reaction, it's I love I love the actors, I hate the characters. Or at least how the characters were written, because people would be like, Oh, I love Finn. I just hate what they did with him. Oh god, I'm stuck in the corner. No, not like this. <laughs> not like this. Not like this. Uh For me? Reload! Reload! Ah! Uh, <laughs> I think you just a lot of people, but I, was like, I, I think a lot of people use the fan God. as like is because of the prequel curse of fan of Star Wars fan. Like if if you try to placate fans, you're just you're just gonna be accused of. Uh, I know we have been to Hallmark, uh, Hallmark before. Um, yeah. uh, if if you try to placate to fans, they're just gonna be like, oh, it's just fan service. If you try to do something new, they're just like, why did you change so much? It's like, mm. yeah, but it's always a vocal. I mean, yeah, but. It's, it's just it's listening to the vocal minority, but in uh, when you look deeper, there's always like an underlying like truth against what you're um, a truthful criticism of what's going on. Oh, there is, but the thing about it, the reason I was going to use Star Wars Prophecy is you have the whole situation that happened with the prequel films of not the changes, but the vitriolic reaction because. Back then, it was much more, I'd say, vitriolic reaction against just Star Wars as a whole because of how people felt about their movies. Well, now, to be, to be, whereas to be, now it's more critical against Disney because it's like, it's like we've seen the roughest time of Star Wars, and it's like, we died should know better. Ah, Desert Eagle. Oh. Um, I think though it was because of terrible timing because you know the rebels came out right when the internet existed for the first time. Mm. So you you can so it's not just like regular critics and like fans and who are willing to like say, hey, I love this. It's also like a lot of crazy people who are online. I mean, that's why I do love uh, a really good like documentary about Star Wars fanbase is the people who are still Luke, where they show so that yeah, the fans hated George Lucas in the prequel movie, but at the same time, they did still they still come back to like they still came back to see Star Wars. It's like yeah, if you in the words of Team Four Star, if you love a franchise. You will also talk a lot of shit about the bad things in it. Um, if I can, if I can just uh, very quickly uh, run uh, some of the conversation back, uh, I just realized something funny. 
uh, about the fact right. that we opened this up, talk that we opened up the stream talking about porn, uh, with then what I what what I decided to name this stream. Good old fashioned splattery fun. <laughs> I just completely. Uh, completely didn't mean for that to happen, but, uh, hey. Happy accident. Hey. Happy accidents. Like uh, teenage pregnancy. Happy accidents. Uh, I had to say it. Happy accidents. Uh, I'm gonna go solely pistol and then try to get a better gun. Or find Anytime. a better gun. Anytime I think of teenage pregnancy, I think of the worst thing that has ever been created because of it. And that's that uh, god awful. Movies? Oh, I was going to say that god awful MTV show. Uh, 16 and Pregnant? Um, yeah. I think of that one really. I think of that one really messed up. Uh, I think about that one really messed up uh, Hallmark movie about a bunch of high school girls creating a quote-unquote pregnancy pact. Oh god, that creepy-ass club! That's a real yeah. thing, though! Actually, it was a real thing, but did not happen the way that the movie depicts it. Basically, it was just a mass coincidence. There was no pact whatsoever. It never existed. It was just a massive coincidence of pregnancies. God, I hope yeah, you're right. No, no, it's true. In fact, it was just, uh, it was basically uh, a bunch of journalists making it up uh, when uh, when they were talking with the mayor, and the mayor was like, uh, maybe there was a pact, I don't know, but I don't want to say there is. And then, like, people were saying, like, no, we didn't do a pact, it was just coincidence. It was just, unfortunately, a lot of, uh, a lot of teenage pregnancies. Um, but I always think about how messed up that movie was, where, like, all the teens... It was, like, such unrealistic... Early, it was so unrealistic how, like, a lot of the girls were like, Oh, it's gonna be great, because then I can dress up my, my, uh, my baby in, like, all these clothes, and we can just be, like, pals or whatever. Just, like, look, if you want something cute to dress up in dumb outfits, get a fucking dog. It's, it's a lot of movie for... D, you're breaking up again. If I thought there was anything but luck, I would be impressed. Here you Still sounds like you're breaking up. Ozzy, you still there? Okay, yeah, we can hear you now. I was gonna say, it's a, it's a weird thing because as a person who's seen 16 and pregnant and then you see the pregnancy pack, he's basically like, oh no, this wasn't planned and everything went shit. Because that was the baby, most important thing, guys. We oh, and this, right? Yeah. Oh, and then in the movie, they tried to make the, uh,. They tried to make the boyfriend of the main character seem like the bad guy because oh, yeah. the girlfriend the girlfriend tricked the uh the girlfriend uh the main character tricked her boyfriend um to um to getting her pregnant yeah. and lied about the whole pack thing. Yeah. What's the fucking the switch? What's the switch? Yeah, like what's the button I need to press? I forgot. Oh, to switch switch weapons is uh trying whole triangle. No, but it's like, I know my gun has uh, regular ammo and oh, uh, single shot. Oh, R one. R one. R one. Thank you. We'll continue as you were saying. The boyfriend is evil. Yes. Yeah, they're trying to make the boyfriend evil because it's like oh, um, it's like oh, I tricked him into like uh, I, I tricked him into giving me a beat, but for some reason he doesn't uh. He doesn't quite like it. Yeah, because... And, then they, and, and they hint that, you know, he was trying to get, like, a successful life, and, like, you know, obviously a baby's gonna get in the way of it. Like, he had his life planned out. 
it, it's because T-minus it, 10 seconds it, 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 it's how it always plays death. out which is always there has to be a bad guy in a lifetime film even if it makes sense that that person shouldn't be the bad guy and you're like no that person's being realistic like, no. oh oh like that like that one movie uh the christmas about, uh, movie cyberbullying well cyberbullying huh? but also the christmas one it's uh actually i found a thing on youtube recently someone animated the uh cartoon of that where it's a comic strip about uh how every lifetime movie is pretty much like a new girl goes to a town uh she meets the nice guy who's really kind of a dick to her but he's also has a heart of gold it's like oh by the way he's uh like also my boyfriend's calling he's like hey so why are you still in that are you still in that hit town well this town has culture yeah but you and i are from the city so why does it matter are you coming with your project or not like it's written with all the with all the subtlety of a Pace Picante uh, commercial. Pretty much. That chill is from New York City. And as a person who sat through a ton of Hallmark Christmas movies, you kind of just yeah, no, they're all the same. Yeah, I've sat through some as well. Uh, but the Cyber League one is funny to me because it's like um, the like there's just this one moment where the the main character her account gets hacked and she's um, she basically says something extremely uh, like extremely sexual on her profile and has everybody in school basically call her a slut and then it turns out that the brother was the one who got onto her computer and made her and, and wrote that onto her profile and he barely gets into a trouble um, like, like at worst he gets grounded and that's it. What about Stockholm? What about that Stockholm Christmas movie? Oh uh, yeah, with Melissa Joan Hart. Oh, and then there's that like moment where. It's... <sighs> things to me in the world because me and Mr. Trina have been talking about those films where you like. Like, when you think about how badly those films are doing, how much he was in romance, like, ooh, or whatever. If you, if you, if you get your ideas of romance from a Harmark movie, I don't want to date you. I mean, you I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, if it's like, like, goofy stuff, like, oh, flowers, and like, uh, like, eating at a, a nice restaurant, I'm just like, oh, that's sweet. But if it's something like, like, I don't know, like, surpri like surprise me at, like, sort of like, freaking, like, uh, uh, like, subway station, and then you, you wrote I love you on every single individual car, I'd be like, wow, that is crazy. Also, how much does this cost you? Like, let's be honest, all, most, if not all rom-coms are not really good, healthy, uh, examples of a working relationship but yeah. hallmark movies are oh. the crack to the to rom-coms marijuana yeah. they're both they're both drugs oh, it's just that one's way fucking worse for you uh you know what's another movie i think you know what's another movie i'm thinking about what? uh one based on a christ uh, on a christian uh christmas song called, um, like, Christmas Shoes or whatever. Oh god, that oh, fucking... <laughs> where, where, a, um, like, a freaking, like, 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 the, like, a mom has cancer, and the kid is trying to get his, his shoes. <laughs> And like, and like, he, he worked for his neighbor in collecting, in recycling cans, and it's like, can't you just give this kid some money? Uh, no, kid, you're five cents short for the shoes. Ah, uh, that comes straight out of my paycheck. Can't do it. Can't do it. It's like, dude, look, any realistic motherfucker, uh, not how this, dude, I'll give you the damn shoes, kid. Your mom's fucking can't. I reload. Yeah, if someone told me that, I'd be like, oh shit, really? Here, here, I'll, I'll buy you the shoes. Uh, here, here, and I'll buy you the shoes. Heck, here, take some take some money too, here. Uh, God bless you, um, uh, God, God, God bless your family, uh, hope, hope you guys do well. Nope, can't do it. 
Nope. Eh. Nope. It's a Hallmark movie. That's that's the moment that had uh, I'm all sorry. Of your life I'm, I'm, Hallmark movie. I need those twelve cents for smokes. Wait, what? Uh, twelve cents, <laughs> nigga. How cheap for cigarettes? <laughs> He's buying uh, Lucy's. And then, and then there was like this subplot, and, and then there was like this subplot they added in that has nothing to do with the song. It's supposed to be from the perspective of the guy who buys the sh the, who gives money to the kid for the shoes, where he's like this um, businessman, and his like his family is like um, his his family, or specifically his wife, is like getting mad at him because you don't spend enough time in the holidays. And he's like, um, honey, I'm 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 working business to provide for her family. I'm just I'm trying to provide for all of us here. That's the that's the stereotypical Disney dad. That's just this Disney dad thing, which is apparently just it's like, Dad, you don't spend time with us, motherfucker. I'm giving you a house. And it's yeah. not, he's not even being a dick about it too. He's just like, well, I'm trying. I'm just you know, I just I, I I gotta work for you guys. And it's like, well, you're not working hard for us. It's like, it's like Jesus. Just like you little shit. I could live in a two bed in a two bedroom condo if it wasn't for you. If I didn't knock up your mother, I would have to deal with this shit right now. I could be living in France in a damn castle, motherfuckers. In a castle. Eating all the fancy cheeses and wines I want. Oh god, I had a rush. Speaking of that, uh, Katrina and I talked about this, and I recently just looked up last night in my middle of my two hour sleep coma induced madness. Uh, castles are. Uh, kinda broke up there, what'd you say? Uh, you bought castles for a reasonable. Oh uh, yeah! I was. Hey, uh, what I was buying at I could just getting a chance. Like, yeah, you can buy a castle for cheap. Some I mean, hell, chateau. I saw a chateau that's maybe like uh, eight hundred thousand, and it's fucking all the land, everything. It's already renovated. I want it. Well, that's it for me. I got no more ammo for this gun. No, eight hundred thousand. Not eighty thousand. Um, don't you hate like when Hallmark movies are like that? It's like, oh, you know, uh, that's, a, that's always a funny thing to me when a studio makes a movie where the plot centers around a guy who works too much and then um, he's the bad guy. He he's the bad guy because he works his job too much. And that means he doesn't care for his family, even though he actually does care for his family. It's always funny to me because it's always, it always comes from like studios which have like the most like harshest working conditions. Disney, Hallmark, Sony. So Jenkins, how is that movie about a hardworking father uh, not being there for his children? Going, hi. I, I don't I don't know, sir. I, please let me go home. I don't know if I, 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 I find that so funny. You're right. It is, it is a funny thing. It's just like it's all these. Let's see here. So apparently, uh, Borderlands 3 is getting a new thing. More DLC? Uh, it's called, it's called The Hunt, and the E is a, is a 3. I don't know. There's an E in Hunt? No, in The. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> I love that. There's an E in Hunt? Borderlands there is. That's how crazy they are. Uh. 
Borderlands <laughs> comedy is like yelling applesauce in the middle of nowhere. No, Borderlands and 3 comedy funny. is throwing applesauce. Yeah. Yeah. But Borderlands 2 has smart wit, and Borderlands 1 has smart wit. It's Borderlands 3 that's the one you go, ooh. I actually can fucking love that last DLC. I like the last DLC, but it's like something else. I forget, what was the last DLC? Uh, it's... They like, go inside his head and try and fix him. And right. instead of fixing him, he accepts his kick and my, uh, apparently has a, yeah. like, visual representation of herself inside his mind. And how that might actually be her? Yeah, because they pretty much... They pretty much, just, they pretty much said that it is her. Without saying, without bringing her back, like, yeah, it is her. I know that DLC is usually sometimes planned, but it's a, I have a feeling it's like just a way to go. Like, see, guys, we, we totally planned on um, there's there was some there was something about killing her off. It wasn't for shitty uh, drama. No, I still think it was shitty drama. I think it was just the DLC was. After Randy, after Randy Pitchford went, no, we're killing off Maya. It's like, okay, we make the DLC because no fans are gonna be mad about this. Let's just get it out of the way. This is the plan. Uh, it's sort of, uh, and frankly, the DLC has still left me with a simple question: Where the fuck is Salvador? Oh, Salvador dead. Like even if they said Salvador died, blah 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 blah, I'd be yeah, I'd be like, I'd at least be like, yeah, okay. At least they told you where he was. I mean, yeah. that's what I felt. Uh, uh, hey, I felt that way with Gage when it was like, okay, Gage might be dead. I'm like, can I get a confirmation on that? Is she dead? Is she not dead? Just, just give me something. Like we care. Wanna about become a famous by. Followers, pro. Oh, god damn it! It's a bot. Ad. Yeah, it's a fucking bot. Reloading my gun because I want to. Reloading my Tommy gun and shooting you. Reloading my gun because I'm down to a pistol and I might be fucked. There's only From one what? enemy left. All you gotta do is get that shovel and beat his head in. Yeah. Killing for the movies, all about the friendship. Fuck is it? Written by Disney to kill all the children. Good, good question. Whoever is, uh, whoever is the... Well, people are getting close to it. Yeah. I keep seeing... I just, just, that guy. What the... Alright, did you see that? Am I crazy? See what? See what? It literally... Oh, and then went back to one. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, it got so half a second, then went back to one. So there's fucking around. I don't know where the. Fuck is. Well, it looks like the, the it looks like whoever's the survivalist is getting close to him. Oh, oh me? Let's do oh, that. hey. There it goes. That was that me. Was me. Just hit your pod. But uh. How did you die? <laughs> I mean, not for nothing, Oscar, but stone, but glass houses. Hey, hey, hey! I died right as the match and began. He died after it ended. Therefore, B, he is stupider than I. The I'm pretty sure you died in between the matches, or in between the rounds. No, I died like right as we can because like, some, well, for one thing, it was someone else's fault. They turned on the, the, uh, the thing that made me like, push me into it. How did <laughs> you that guy die? You know what died here? The only way they can die is they sacrifice all their health. Well, they found some place to die. Okay, they might have sacrificed their health because there are some places that allow you to sacrifice yeah. their health. Can you do it enough times that it'll kill you? I don't I mean, know. Never, never underestimate how. 
Never underestimate the power of stupid. I mean, look, look at the games we play as multiplayer, and you can never underestimate the power of stupid. Uh, Fair. I think back to, uh, I think back to when me, Manny, and Chris originally played Destiny, and it's like, the heroes of light. These are the ones destined to save us. Let us try to jump on your head! No! Let me jump on your head! No! Remember when you guys, yeah, when, you can pull, when people play soccer in that game? Oh yeah! <laughs> because they're poor. Like, I look at just some of the stupid shit you can do in like a lot of different like MMOs or things like that. It's like, oh yeah. Well, when I check in on League of Legends and I go, Oh, what's the thing I do now? Oh, JoJo references? Okay, I'll JoJo references. Stupid things. When I get when I get Fallout New Vegas working, I really want to try out. Um, I, I feel like I want to try out the the mod that everybody is uh, going crazy about, uh, Fallout Frontier. Ah. Oh. That everyone's like, oh god. Uh, the one that everybody either loves or hates. Mostly people hate. People only love it for the technical stuff, but people hate it for everything else, especially story. And that they inadvertently or accidentally or somehow inserted their own fetishes into that mod. Even though it was not supposed to be like an adult, uh, an adult mod. So ostensibly, I mean, it's the totally spies of mods. Kinda, but I did find it funny when I saw the controversy pop up about uh, the whole like fetish. Like everyone's like, "Oh, there's a uh, possibility of it's because of the backstory of one of the characters." I'm like, this is stupid, but at the same time, it's like. I guess the only reason why it's even is because it's an official, like, Steam paid mod. Like, where Steam was pushed, was pimping it out on their page. It's like, Steam, you really can't say anything because you still have to on your fucking page. Eh, Steam wasn't saying anything. I mean, they, have, they gladly have tons of porn on their store now. Oh, yeah, know, th that... there's actually a tab for it now. But I remember there was a big con. The only reason why there was controversy on the game was because of uh, the mod. Was because like, oh yeah, you can get this one kid character and you can put her in sex slavery. It's like, oh, um, are we here? you're talking about Frontier, right? Yes, yeah, so I'm about Frontier. Yeah, because the stuff I know about is like um, a companion named America who used to be a slave, and she keeps talking about her feet. Okay, yeah, that's a different one. This is uh, another one, which is the reason why Frontier went down and then came back up. Because yeah. they had to remove the character and all the content involved in the character. And uh, apparently they had to take it down because um, one of the devs, well, an artist, was a pedophile, and apparently they did a lot of the asset work for that game. It, from what I, that, alright, so that's the official story, okay, I didn't know, because the one I, the version I heard about it was that it was a guy who, that the backstory was, um, is that the same that, guy who was, guy, go ahead, go ahead. Right, uh, uh, I guess I'll say it real fast, uh, from what I heard the controversy was that, uh, it wasn't the guy was a pedophile, it was that he had uh, put a, because there was a 15 year old girl in the game that you can find who you can do sex slavery and talks about it, or you can sell her to sex slavery and everything, and that kicked up a fuss about it, oh, there's this child, uh, there could be, you know, child pedophilia, other stuff like that, so... That I did not hear about. There's like a lot of stuff, but that was not included on the frontier. But no, they. Oh, um, that. But what I heard was that what what I was told uh, from a video was that the artists themselves they did a lot of underage, um, not safe for work art on the side, and the devs of Frontier wanted to uh, wanted to get rid of him for that. But they had to take the game down. Because he also did a lot of the assets for the game. But it just, all right, look, I know this is gonna sound shitty. 
like, does it matter? Like, I know that, I know that sounds like goofy to me today. It's like, dude, yeah, he did a lot of underage, not safe work, blah, blah, blah. Careful of it. And it is. But at the same time, it's like, fuckers, he's part of the reason why, you should have known already, you should have done background checks on him, or keep an eye on him. Yeah, that's a failure on them. Yeah. For not finding that out. And two, also because, also because they did not intend for this to be an adult mod, because a lot of the writing, they did not want it to be that. It just accidentally became that way, which is a huge, huge accident. Because damn, it doesn't really come off as adults. But that, that, that it's Fallout. I, 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 I it's Fallout. Well, there's a certain kind of way to write in Fallout that you that wh when I looked at how the Frontier did it, yeah, no, that's not how you write Fallout. No, but that's what I mean. Of like, it's just like, oh, it's not supposed to be. They're trying to not write adult content, and I'm like, but it's, it's Fallout. It's, it's Fallout. I'm not crazy, right? Yeah. Um, no, it's stuff like like um um like having lizard having having sex with a race of talking lizards. And, um, the way that the writing was done, it was, like, very, like, like, fur affinity tier writing, basically. Also, the, the talking lizards, many Fallout fans call extremely, um, lore unfriendly, because something like that should not exist in Fallout. It seems like they're just... Go ahead. Uh, detractors point out that in Fallout 2 there existed a race of death claws that talked, but that was different because they didn't actually talk, they were just mimicking human voices, but didn't understand it quite as well. They are basically experimented on. But in, but in the mod, it was basically, yeah, no, no, these are lizards, an underground race of lizards that could talk for some reason. Um... Adding lizard people to Fallout seems like they're trying to uh, connect the worlds of... I'll be there in a sec. Um... It... Adding lizard people to Fallout seems like they're trying to connect uh, Fallout and... Um, and uh, Elder Scrolls. Yeah. Oh, also the lizard people models were blatantly stolen from a Unity asset uh, store. Yeah. At this point, fucking day of drag is still being made, and that's not like absolutely so fucking. Uh, um. But uh, my thing about the whole lizard man thing is it's like, I think he's already proven, but that doesn't give a fuck about Fallout lore because the Brotherhood of Steel are in. Oh God! Are in fucking uh, what's the name? Uh, Fall 76. Yeah. So it's like, does lore really matter anymore? Uh, for fans, for a lot of fans, including me, it, it does. Oh, and then there was this thing where the the uh, devs did not want you to be able to play uh, Enclave because they compared Enclave to um uh to Trump supporters and, and MAGA, and it's like. Uh, people got really mad, were like, okay, you know what, no, they're not the same, and also, bullshit, this is an RPG, give us the option to play Enclave if we want to. I was gonna say, like, look, it, on one hand, I could make an argument that, yeah, if you really broke down the Enclave, you fucking use the concept of, like, the idiotic madness of a MAGA or a Trump supporter in, in the Enclave, but at the same time, it's an RPG, it's an open RPG that has this negative consequences. For fuck's sake, Caesar's Legion! Um, you can join Caesar's Legion. Heck, in Fallout 3, you could also, you could technically help uh, the Enclave. If you wanted to. What? No, the Enclave doesn't jump in fucking, uh, 4. Yeah, no, fall. Uh, they're not in four. It's the institute, and yeah, you could join the institute in four. Yeah, yeah, like the bad joining the bad guys is the class RPG thing. Um, hey, real quick, back to uh that um to that dev that turned out to be a uh, pedophile. Yeah. 
Uh, is that that guy that was making that, um, that, uh, oh, what's it called? That Loud House porn game? No. Not as far as I know, no. Then again, I don't know the actual content they made, just that they made content they made like that. Fit. They made mm. Yeah. Um. Uh, but again, people people hate the writing and the story, but the modders actually found a way to make vehicles work for Fallout, which is mm. impressive. Like they, they made vehicles really work in Fallout. Pretty much, the technicality is amazing and actually really exciting. It's the story is shit. Yeah, basically. Ah, so it's like every launch game for a new console generation. Eh. Speaking of uh, new generation of consoles, what do you do? You think it is worth it to get a PS5 yet? Not yet. Only not yet. There's not. All right. There's no exclusivity right now, mainly because we're, this year is pretty much going. Honestly, I think for the next two years we're going to be in this kind of weird limbo area of people wanting to move over. Yeah, it's mostly just games that are being upscaled for PS5. Yeah, there's like nothing that I could say that's honestly going to be a. Uh, what's it? It's going to be. Look at all that money. Thanks, buddy. Quit slacking, losers. Uh, there's no, there's no killer game that's like you need a PS5. For. Yeah, and a lot of people want to make. Sh people are very more and more. Uh, a lot of people are like aware of like the practices of consoles where it's like, oh, we want to get the consoles out for demand, so let's use a very cheap factory to build the consoles. And though they're like, okay, yeah, we're not going to risk being the first buyers. We're going to wait until like the first generation of PS5s are over with and then we'll join in. Someone healed me. Oh hell. Oh hell. So close to death. Ah. Oh, Jesus! Come on, Randos! You got it! Behind you. There you go. Oh, thank God. I leveled up my. I somehow leveled up my field medic skill. I. I was dead. Okay. Don't be asking questions. Just shh your face. Like, hmm, I 
Oh, oh shoot. shoot, hold on, got my call over here. Although it's probably it for the stream, right? Uh, yeah, sure, if you guys, uh... That's up to you, man. I'm the first. Either way. Hey. Uh... Hey. Hey. Okay. Okay, uh, I, I guess that's where we're on today's stream. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please consider like, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and dinging the bell, and doing the things you do on Switch. And, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Right. You guys got anything to say? Uh, I just said peace. I love you too, baby.